In the single peak preferences, we have looked at an uh, interesting mechanism called the median voting rule uh, in the previous module and we have seen that that particular voting rule satisfies certain desirable properties, uh, most prominently the strategy proofness and ontoness. And um, in this module, we are going to look at the, this additional property of anonymity and we, we are going to characterize these three properties, strategy proofness, ontoness and anonymity. We are going to ask the question which uh, kind of mechanism satisfy these three uh, properties together and we will see that it is going to be the um, median voting rule. So this is uh, significant because um, we have seen in the unrestricted domain, in the gibbers other way uh, domain that even if you want to satisfy strategy proofness and ontoness, then the only mechanism that you are going to settle with is the dictatorship. Clearly, median voting rule is not a dictatorship. So this is the power of the restricted domain. Once we uh, uh, focus our attention only to those domains, uh, which, which are single pick, we will see that uh, these three properties are uniquely characterized by the median voting rule. So this is a result due to Mula 1980. It says that a strategy proof social choice function f is onto and anonymous if and only if it is a median voting social choice function. So in this module we are going to prove this uh, at least a part of this and we will continue the proof in the next module. So the first uh, thing that we are going to do is the, uh, the reverse direction or is the uh, if direction. That is if we are uh, if we are given that a medi median voting rule social choice function which we have defined uh, with the use of uh, those uh, phantom picks uh, we know that uh, it is strategy proof from the previous theorem it is anonymous uh, certainly because it is only looking at the um, uh, looking at the peaks and it does not matter which uh, which peak belongs to which agent uh, uh, if you um, interchange the or uh, permute these agents uh, this just means the the, uh, the collection of the peaks remains the same. Only the uh, the agent labels get uh, get interchanged. So as long as those peaks are uh, unchanged, the outcome does not change. So this is clearly anonymous. It is onto as well uh, because if you pick any arbitrary alternative A, so let's say we are uh, looking at a specific outcome A, then we are uh, we can construct. Uh, uh, preference profiles and here is how we are going to construct it. We are going to uh, put the peaks of all the players at A and because there are n players and n minus um, 1 uh, phantom peaks then always the um, uh, the median is going to be at, at this point A and it, it will be uh, A irrespective of the position of those phantom peaks. And therefore, we actually constructed this P, uh, some uh, preference profile P, where the outcome is going to be A. So, and you can change it according to uh, uh, whichever alternative you pick. If you are picking B, you put all the uh, agent picks at, uh, at uh, B and so on. So, this is certainly onto anonymous and strategy proof. So, the, uh, the, the direction, the forward direction is what uh, we are going to discuss in, uh, in uh, in detail because this is uh, presumably the mu much harder direction. So what is uh, we are supposed to uh, prove here? We are given a social choice function which uh, is mapping uh, from this uh, uh, from this restricted domain, the single picked domain to the set of alternatives and this uh, social choice function is already known to be strategy proof, anonymous and on. Now a few things that we will be using um, throughout this proof. So uh, let me tell you the broader picture. What do we really need to do in this case? We will have to essentially construct those uh, midi, uh, the, the phantom picks because we are given the, uh, the, the player picks. We cannot change the player picks. We will have to pick the, the, uh, the appropriate uh, phantom picks such that the social choice function can be written as a uh, median of those uh, uh, phantom picks plus the player picks. That is what our objective is. And now based on the cases whether this median itself is a phantom pick or an agent pick, we will have two different cases and we will handle them one by one. 
Okay, so let us first define what is the PI0. So this is uh, just a notation. The, this means that agent I's preference uh, has all the peaks at the leftmost position. So leftmost with respect to that common ordering over all these alternatives. So uh, you are picking, putting all the all the peaks on the leftmost position. So this profile is the one where the peak is on the leftmost position. And then uh, from, from then onwards, it is a single peak preference. So um, the preferences go, go down in this way. Similarly, you can define, so this zero and one is the, uh, the two extreme points of this, uh, of this, uh, um, of the domain of all the alternatives. And uh, similarly, you can also define the P. So this is P I zero and this is P I one. Uh, or the peak is on the rightmost position with respect to the same common ordering and all the alternatives lie somewhere here. Now the, the, the proof uh, as we said is going to be constructive and we are going to construct the median voting rule which needs the phantom peaks to be, to be, to be designed such that the outcome of an arbitrary social choice function uh, which satisfies these three properties strategy proofness and uh, anonymity and ontoness that matches the outcome of the median social choice function. Okay, so here is our construction of the phantom peaks. How are we going to do that? So let's uh, consider the jth phantom peak and this is how we are going to construct that. So we are looking at the first n minus j peaks uh, of the, so uh, this first n minus one, n minus j peaks are essentially uh, all the peaks that are on the leftmost side. So uh, let's consider. So we are using the same uh, social choice function f that uh, that is already been given to us. Now we are uh, putting. So if you give a, a preference profile to it, it will give out a specific alternative, and that is what we are going to consider as the phantom peak. Now, how are we choosing those? Uh, prefer how are we choosing those preferences such that the preference profile gives out y j is the following? So we have the first player's peak is uh, to the leftmost, uh, second player's peak is at the leftmost until n minus j agent, and then from then onwards n minus j plus one onwards until n. So uh, there are uh, j peaks remaining. They are all on the rightmost position. Right. So this is this is how we are defining the j phantom peak, and uh, similarly, if you keep on increasing. Uh, j so from starting from 1 to n minus 1 we will get a bunch of things so the the first one will be where you have n minus 1 so all the, uh, uh, the, the all the points uh, until n minus 1 they have uh, p, uh, the the peaks are at the leftmost position um, and the last one is on the rightmost position when you are at the end n minus 1 that means you are only having the first uh, agent peak to be on the leftmost everything else is on the rightmost so and sequentially you are going from so one by one you are moving some of this right leftmost peaks to the rightmost peak. So that's how the yj is defined. Um, and of course, after you choose this uh, preference profile, you apply f on it. Now f is arbitrary; we do not really know, and we will have to argue that essentially this uh, certain properties that we have discussed before, if they are satisfied. Uh, then uh, this yj and also the, the the agent picks will essentially match the same one as the as the median voter uh, outcome. The first claim that we are going to um, uh, we are going to make is that uh, all these yj's and yj plus ones, so all these yj's have a uh, monotone non-decreasing relationship, and this uh, inequality is with respect to the same common ordering over all the agents. Uh, all the alternatives, the common ordering about all the alternatives. So it is saying that uh, yj can be um, exactly equal to yj plus 1 or it should be on the left hand side of yj plus 1. These are the only two um, uh, possibilities. And this is not very difficult to uh, see. The, the, the whole point is that we can, we have defined this yj is, uh, in that way so that it becomes non-decreasing. So what is, so we have already seen what yj is up to the agent n minus j, it is the leftmost peak and um, after that everything is rightmost. So if I want to define in, uh, in j, uh, so yj plus 1, then what will happen is that we will we'll have 
uh, one more agent so this will also uh, essentially uh, get converted into one and uh, all the um, agents up to uh, n minus uh, j before n minus j they are all all having the peaks which are at the leftmost position and um, one thing that i uh, forgot to mention is that this agents which agents have which peaks does not matter because we already have the anonymity so without loss of generality any agent can have any of these peaks as long as the collection of the peaks are the same um, we are we are happy so due to strategy proofness and this is an important point we have used uh, this kind of a thing before so you notice that for player n minus j um, this particular outcome is an outcome when he is reporting his valuation uh, to be this this one so if you consider that agent n minus j has this preference which is at the leftmost position then ideally that agent should prefer the current outcome which is given by this social choice function uh, according to this uh, preference uh, ordering more than yj plus 1 because in yj plus 1 then we will consider as if that agent that n minus j the agent is misreporting something else and because social choice function is uh, truthful or strategy proof then this relationship should hold and now we, we are exploiting the fact that this uh, uh, preference profile has a very specific uh, structure it is a single peak preference which has the leftmost position to be the uh, to be the most preferred and it is monotonically decreasing uh, from left to right now if you if you have any uh, according to this preference profile if you have yj to be more preferred than yj plus one then it has to be that uh, yj is on the left hand side compared to yj plus one right this is quite self-explanatory so with that essentially we have proved this i mean you can repeat this argument and yeah so for for any j uh, starting from one to n minus two uh, this this relationship uh, of less than or equal to will uh, will hold all right so now we are getting into the actual proof we will uh, save this result we will reuse it whenever it is needed so uh, let's now consider an arbitrary agent profile which starts from p1 to pn so in agents have their own um, preferences and we are going to denote by this lowercase pi their peaks now the claim is that if you have uh, this uh, this f satisfies this strategy proof onness and anonymity uh, then uh, fp should be the median of all these agent peaks and the the corresponding phantom peaks this is the final claim if we can show it you know, show it then we have proved that uh, uh, the theorem by muller and again we can we can assume without loss of generality because of this property of anonymity it does not really matter who has which peak so we can without loss of generality consider the natural ordering of these uh, agents uh, in uh, to to be in the increasing order of their preferences so again this uh, increasing order of their pref uh, their peaks is uh, with respect to that common ordering over all these alternatives okay so let us also uh, define this a uh, a to be uh, an outcome which is a median of all these agent peaks and also the phantom peaks will essentially have to show that this is the this is equal to f of p so uh, as we said there could be two cases the median could be a phantom peak so let's say a is equal to y of j for some j in the in the set so uh, what does an, a median mean so median means that you, you have total n minus uh, 2 n minus 1 point so in uh, n agent peaks and uh, n minus 1 uh, phantom peaks then out of this 2 n minus 1 points 2 n minus 1 points uh, this median is sitting exactly at the center which is at the nth position so there will be n minus 1 points on the left and n minus 1 points on the right and now if you uh, look at so if you say that uh, yj is the medium median then we also know that uh, there are j minus 1 phantom peaks uh, before it because uh, all these yj's are monotonically non decreasing and uh, so therefore the uh, so here we will have to have n minus 1 total peaks so if uh, j minus 1 of them is essentially phantom then n minus j has to be the agent peaks similarly on the right hand side it has to have n minus 1 total peaks 
and uh, we know that the n minus 1 minus j number of phantom peaks are there so there should be exactly j agent peaks fair enough now we uh, so we, we can actually say that this yj is nothing but that a that we have defined and uh, all these peaks so um, all these peaks because we have already uh, ordered them in that way so all these n minus 1 uh, n minus j agent peaks are on the left and the rest of the peaks in this order are on the right now uh, we are going to use a similar transformation we know what yj is yj is uh, uh, by the definition uh, as we have defined yj uh, applying uh, the f the social choice function on this preference profile and then what we are going to do is we are going to look at what happens if you replace the first player's preference with its true preference with, with its uh, the, the preference that we are actually willing to prove so just change one preference in the whole set of preferences uh, to p1 and let's say that is the that uh, uh, that is denoted by b now what do we know so by strategy proofness because yeah, under this preference profile if player one had this preference then yj should have been more preferred than any other outcome because then this will be something like p1 is a is a misreporting so of course yj has to be uh, preferred than preferred than b under this preference profile of this agent and again using the same argument that uh, this means that uh, yeah, this preference is on the leftmost the, the peak is on the leftmost position so yj must be on the left hand side uh, of b now uh, again by strategy proofness now we are going to use the strategy proofness at, uh, at this preference profile right so uh, this might be um, uh, confusing if you are uh, looking at it for the first time we are just considering as if this player, player 1, if it had this particular preference profile, then if it uh, misreports to some other preference profile, that will not be beneficial according to that preference uh, profile, right? So if that player really had P, uh, P10, then what we, are, we, what we concluded here is that under that preference ordering, that player would have preferred YJ more than B. But whenever your uh, preference actually changes to p1 then we, we are going to say that of course uh, you should prefer this one more than yj under this preference profile preference of that player so we can write uh, again by the same strategy proofness we can argue that b is more preferred than yj under this preference uh, of, of that player so if that preference is this then um, uh, misreporting is uh, worse than uh, uh, than reporting it truthfully now what we can observe that uh, p1 we have already seen this we have um, that's the reason we have ordered all these uh, agent peaks and we have also seen this relationship certainly p1 is uh, less than or equal to yj it lives on the left hand side so p1 is uh, uh, the, the peak of this is uh, um, going to be on the left hand side of yj and that uh, implies because it is single peak b should be less than or equal to yj so why why is that true so you have the peak somewhere here and yj is on the left hand side so if b was on the right hand side of yj because of the fact that this is single peak that should have been less preferred than yj right this is this is clearly true because of the pre, uh, because the preference has the single peak uh, nature it can never be the case that uh, b is living here and the peak is on the left hand side of this uh, 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 this point yj this alternative yj that we are looking at and still b is uh, more preferred than yj right so therefore we, we can conclude that b is on the on the left hand side so it can be somewhere here or it can be here but it can never be on the right hand side and because b has to be less than or equal to yj and in the previous conclusion we have made yj has to be less than or equal to b then it must be the case that y mu uh, b must be exactly equal to yj so we can repeat this argument for the first n minus j agents so we are going to replace this p20 so the second agent's uh, preference with p2 uh, the given preference uh, of that player uh, and uh, because we now know that b is equal to yj so first one is yj uh, we can repeat the same arguments to show that uh, 
uh, if we uh, if we do it then uh, that will also be yg and we can repeat this argument until n minus jth agent to get that that is equal to yg now we are going to show for all uh, uh, all pj's right so not only up to jth agent but all the agents up to n so now we are going to consider so after we have uh, proved that uh, uh, this is yj then we are going to replace it uh, replace now the preferences from the right hand side so now we look at the pn uh, the the, play, uh, the preference of player n replacing that with this first preference now we apply a very similar argument we can now show i mean we know that because of strategy proofness yj uh, has to be more preferred under this preference than the outcome b right and because of the fact now uh, this this preference is nothing but the the rightmost so the peak is at the at the rightmost uh, then it better be the case that now what you are preferring less should be on the uh, on the left hand side so yj uh, has to be uh, on the left hand side so yj should be somewhere here uh, let's say and b has to be less than uh, uh, on the on the left hand side than that because this is a single peak preference and similarly if you apply the pn and use the fact that uh, the this peak was on the right hand side of yj um, and uh, you know because of strategy proofness b has to be at least as preferred or strictly more preferred than yj then this uh, and this inequality holds then it must be the case that yj must be on the left hand side because uh, of of b because again for the same reason that you have the peak uh, p of uh, n which is on the left hand side of yj right? and uh, because because of the fact that uh, now b is more preferred b has to be living somewhere on this side it cannot be here because uh, then single peak will single peakness will force that that is less preferred than than yj so yj now uh, stays on the left hand side of b and uh, together these two things we can conclude that b is equal to yj so we are also proved that b uh, we are also done proving that b is exactly equal to yj and this is the way uh, this proof percolates so now you can go to the pn minus 1 and replace up to this agent in minus j plus 1 and then at the end you will have all the preferences that you wanted to show and that is exactly equal to the yj which is the median of uh, uh, of all these peaks uh, phantom as well as the uh, agent peaks all right so that proves first part we will next see the uh, the case where it is the agent peak the median is the agent peak